buildings are unique in that the second floor overhangs the first with eaves sloping further to overhang the entire building. Most roofs now have steel sheets, but originally they were wooden slats held down by rocks. Here is one of the shrines at this end. It is a Shinto shrine. Whenever you see a Tori gate, it, that means it's a Shinto shrine. That shrine was built because during the 1800s there was a huge fire, then there was some kind of, uh, I would say probably like a plague, a big disease infestation, a lot of people died, so they built the shrine. Facing a little bit to the main street, but the width is much more, you have like, you know. You'd show your visas when you come through here. And this is like a weir heaven. At one time all the craftsmen worked out of this village, but then it became too congested and they moved elsewhere. However, they still bring all their wares here to sell. This was where you could have at one time opened up the windows, pulled this out, like to think of your supplies. Oh, it would flap out and right. you put your, your goods on it. That is correct. This is what they were talking about, the eaves overhang and come down. Here's one where they have the small flap down that they can put their goods out on, or where they did put their goods out at one time. Another place where Emperor Meiji's stayed. Doesn't that all look delish? Oh goody, for lunch this is what I'm going to have again, those little rice balls and miso. But here there are all different kinds. Ooh, those are good. Mm. Walnuts. Walnuts. And those back there are sesame. sesame. And these are sweeter with sugar. And these are chrysanthemum. Here's the hey, dumplings you know, in English. That one has eggplant inside it. Radish. Pickles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Walnuts. <laughs> It's pouring like crazy right now. We are so lucky that we finished hiking. Another sake place. I really like these sake jugs. I hope I'm going the right way to the stone shrines. There are 200 stone shrines in this little area. And I have a feeling for lunch we're going to have them. I've really developed a taste for those little rice balls. Look at how low this door is. We're not going to sit until they tell La falta de la vejación que se me ha hecho. Love. Oh. their little restaurants. We're drinking roasted tea. You can see the rice grains in it. It's made entirely different. I have not been drinking the tea, which is why I didn't know what I'm drinking. Here are our, whatever the first part is, and the last part is called mochi. Or, I refer to them as rice balls, but they're rice dumplings. And everybody has their own topping and their own way of making making it. Hello kitties. He's steaming some buns right here. Konnichiwa. Cherry blossom tea. Are you supposed to drink the little petals too? I don't know. I didn't get that instruction. During the Edo period, this was a kind of taxi. We're talking about the 1600s. You'd have a little bearer at that, that end, have another little bearer on that end, and you sit there and be carried along your way. <laughs> 